Look at that disgusting parking. That parking is absolutely ridiculous. LG 13 MXN. And there's 507001 here in the depot at Kirkdale. We've just got off seven 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 oh two six. Please mind the closing door. There we go. No, it's going. And here is a market. I can keep my cover straight. What a marvellous view of 507 001. Well, today, in our little adventure, you will see. Um, was going to Southport on the rail replacement bus for something to do.
going over the um, beautiful views now, just on our way um, to Hall Road Station. We've just stopped at the last stop for Hall Road, which is London, Sands and Crosby. And um, yeah, just take a look at the um, breathtaking view still we've got out the bus window and it's a clear it's um, completely clear today as well so you can see from quite a far and over there I believe to be is Mo Mammoth I think I don't know for sure though um, but I do think it's um, I do think it is Mo Mammoth When we um, get on the train, we will um, not long be experiencing um, the only airfield in the northwest, which is RAF Woodvale. And of course, the train was just leaving just as we bloody get to Hall Road. So we now have to wait around about half an hour at the freezing cold train station of Hall Road. Thank you, Mayor Zero. Mm -hmm. Do you want either? Not even either. But, um, there was no signs whatsoever where the rail replacement buses as well. So Mersey Rail are well taking the biscuit. But anyway, so I'm going to stop recording for now and hopefully wait in a nice warm waiting room. Fingers crossed. Well, we are on 507.023 on our way to support. Just left Hall Road now, bound for Southport. The time is now. The time is now 14:30. Back with our dismissal at Southport. We'll be calling at all stations. The next station is High Tap. Guns.
approaching Ida. is for Southport. The next station is Ainsley.
Okay, so we have just arrived in sunny Southport. And um, one thing I can say about sunny Southport, nah, it's not too sunny because um, it's a bit cloudy, but it's, there's no rain due anytime soon. Um, so, yeah. We weren't expecting there to be engineering works today, so, um, but with me, once I've planned something, I always like to follow through, so I don't, I didn't want to just, um, I mean, just want to say, well, yeah, today I'm going to go to Southport and then just not go to Southport. Um, so, um, because that's what I've already, well, that's what I had already planned. And um, although we didn't get to spend as long as I'd liked there for the amount of time that we've travelled, um, it was still a nice day. Anyways, it was something different, you know. We went to, um, yeah, we, we had to get on, we obviously get on a rail replacement bus um, from, well we were originally going to get it on it from Moorfields but um, I needed a drink so we got off at Kirkdale and walked to Bank Hall which was proven to be a little bit longer than I expected that walk so then um, yeah, so we got on to, yeah, so, yeah, so then we got on to this rail replacement bus, pardon me, to Bank Hall, and then got on 507.023 to Southport, and then spent half an hour done around about 30 seconds of recording maybe a bit longer um and then um, yeah i know literally we've just got back off by the 7023 again um at Hall road and now we're getting this all the way um back to Moorfields, where we will change for the Wirral line and get back on the train to Birkenhead, either Central or Conway Park. Um, it doesn't really matter because um, both of those I can still, both of those places I can still get my appropriate bus from. So um, yeah, we are just at Waterloo, um, where yeah, I've literally. Just um, having my um, hot beverage um, from Costa, and um, yeah, um, that's pretty much my whole day. So four hours of travelling to spend half an hour in Southport, thirty seconds of that recording, and then. Um, like spend my pound thirty on a large hazelnut drink. So um yeah um but overall it has been a good day. This has not been um much to stress about. Um there was obviously this slight problem of not knowing where the bus was but luckily the um, driver was good enough to stop where we were standing at Bank Hall instead of because he could have he could have you know gone past because he because the stop was a bit further down but Obviously, we didn't know that, and um, luckily, the driver did 
stop for us, which is nice. So, um, yeah, um, thumbs up to Arriva. Arriva are doing a lot better than Stagecoach, as in the service that they give. Not that I know how much each company is making, but um, yeah, Arriva over the years has generally given me a lot better service than Stagecoach, so I like her even more, more than Stagecoach. Because Stagecoach drivers just don't go out of the way like um, Oviva drivers. And there's a co-op truck there. <laughs> and there we go. I think it is a Scania, I think. Up a little bit. And let's go. We shop right turn here to get to our next station from Waterloo, which um, is, I believe it's important. No, it's not, is it? No. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so um, no, it'll be. Um, and there is the X2 going to Southport. Yeah, I was hoping to get on the um, X2, but then we would have only had five minutes in Southport. In fact, less than five minutes in Southport. So, um, I at least wanted to spend twenty minutes in Southport for the um, for the many hours that we spent travelling there due to engineering works. The only thing I fault about the engineering works is the lack of. Um, Mersey Rail letting people know where to go to get on the rail replacement bus um, because um, we it was a struggle um, to get on the rail replacement bus but um, like I said luckily the legend of a driver um, it's actually the same driver and it, it, this is the same bus as well um, so well, I think when we get off I think I'll um, Thank the driver for the excellent service. So anyways, I'm going to stop recording for now, and I'll start recording again in a bit. One thing I tend to think is, um, Network Rail don't get the credibility that is earned to them, because, you know, People are like, like, sometimes people say, like, why the bloody hell you shut my railway and all that? Well, let me just point this out, right? If Network Rail didn't occasionally shut, um, shut down um, certain lines at certain times, then to do their engineering works, then, you know, you'd have a train all the way over here or in a field somewhere and the railway would be in a lot more chaos than it is now um, trust me um, so you know network you know well actually technically it's not network rail anymore it is um, great British rail I think it's all great British railway or whatever it's called um, but you know what I mean, the equivalent to network rail, they still do have to shut down certain lines at certain points of the year, you know, to 
do engineering works, you know, to make sure that the trains run safely and so that, you know, you don't end up in a horrific uh, train derailment. And that's just something that's vital that, I don't know, I, I, I just guess, um, you know, I guess some people don't understand that, you know, You know, they're not shutting the railway to be a pain in the arse, they're just, you know, they used to need to, um, lights aren't working at Seaforth and Liverland, and I don't think you saw that because, um, focus. Um, so, anyways, yeah, um, I, I'm going to stop recording for now and I'm going to get rid of some old vlog slash videos because um, the space is running a little bit low. I have just deleted 939 items um, from here and um, quite a lot of them have actually um, not even been ones that I've taught myself, it's been the ones that people, like, send me on WhatsApp and stuff, because, um, yeah, my WhatsApp automatically saves things, um, but I am probably going to turn that off, because, um, I don't know, I have had, um, dreams about accidentally, um, uploading, I don't know, a video that someone else is talking uploading it to my YouTube channel and yeah people not being happy with it <laughs> so yeah anyways um so I will um, separate the um yeah I'll definitely have to separate the um whatsapp from the um normal camera roll by um just um yeah, changing the settings on WhatsApp so it only so I only download what I need to from WhatsApp. Say if um you know if, if I take a video from another phone, you know one day then because and then I send it to this one or something like that. Or yeah, it just just makes it so much easier to be honest. Uh, so. We are now at Bootle New Strand, which means we're really not far away from Liverpool now whatsoever. Um, yeah, we've, you know, we've only got a few more stops now. We've got this one, we've got Oil Road, and then um, after Oriel Road, we'll have Bank Hall, then Sand Hills, then we're at Moorfields. Um, where we can finally get off and get on to the Wirral line. And do you know what? We've been out so long just to go to Southport for 20 minutes, that for about half an hour, that I am going to be so happy to see the Wirral line again. Honestly, because you know Liverpool to Southport took ages, and it's took ages again to get back from Southport to Liverpool. So, and don't forget, I had to get myself a bottle of water as well because I was thirsty. But um, yeah, so I. Speaking of which, I'm going to stop recording for a bit and I have some more of that bottle of water. So, um, let's have a bit of a closer look to Brandley Moor Dock. Um, after this, um, I was going to stop recording back there until we got to Liverpool Moor Fields, but um, yeah, um, I'm the reason why I've been recording for a bit longer each time because I'm trying to get a longer vlog this time because um yeah we, we haven't had vlogs for 
a while because, you know, because of life just gets in the way, to be fair. So, um, yeah, there's been a lot of stuff going on in my life. And, yeah, anyways, there's focus. There we go. I'll zoom you out so it's better focus. Bradley Moore Dock. I think that's the last we're going to see of Bradley Moore Dock now, so for now, for today. Um, but yeah, it is um, always nice to, you know, have a look at the progress every now and again. So, anyways, um, I'm going to stop recording now until we get back to more fields. Well, I'm just in the lift at um, Moorfields. Going down to Wirral Line. Will it go straight down to Wirral Line? No. I think it will. Be. Yeah, all the way straight down to Wirral Line. Okay. Or well, no, it won't. Will it? it we've got to get oh, another lift me. now. But that is quite a big lift. Let's try. Oh yeah, we are all the way right the way down onto the little one. Well, uh, there about to go is the new Brighton train. Let's see what unit it is. I have a funny feeling it's going to be the same one that um, that took us from. Uh, yeah, from Conway Park. Let's see. No, it's Oh, yeah, it is. Emergency telephone at Moorfields is open. Let's see if I can close it. No, I can't close it. Okay. Um. Oh, there's no stuff down here to tell about the emergency telephone box being open, and um, yeah, I am um, not going all the way up there <laughs> just just to tell the stuff the emergency telephones open because that would be a wasted trip. That would um, mean I'd have to wait for the next train which is not something I will do. Do you have it? There's the other one. And there is the lift here at the Moorfields. And yeah, we are just currently waiting for our train. So, um, Anyways, I am going to stop recording for now because it is quite boring and I don't you want to listen to me um, waffling on at a cold tr underground station platform waiting for my train. So I'll record again when I am on the train.